Hello everyone and welcome back to Zachary Educational Channel. So this video is regarding the important thing to know before applying for the scientist B position, the risks which you will be facing for the specifically for the non B tech and environmental science students. So this is not a clickbait or anything just to get the views, proper details with the past data we will be discussing in this video so that you will be able to know what are the risks and why you should not apply if you are not having that much interest in this scientist B position. So stay till last for this video to know all this detail without wasting much time. Let's start today's video. So this is the recruitment advertisement from the CPCV. Most of you, almost all of you will be knowing this thing. But inside this thing, there are hidden points to be noted before applying for this thing. We should know why we should not apply. I'm not discouraging you to apply from this post, from this video. I'm just telling you the facts which is given by the CPCB. So first thing is for the scientist B, how many positions are there? Number of posts is total is 22. So looking at this, most of the people are applying. Yes, 22 posts are there, we will apply. That's a good thing. But the breakdown, let us come here. Category wise, unreserved category 10 position, EWS 1, OBC 7, ST 1, SC 3 seats. So all together it comes to 22. So till now it is clear. Now we will know about this thing. That in note 1 they have marked out of the 22 post of scientist B, two posts are reserved for the person with benchmark disabilities. So now from the 22, we don't know from which category these two posts will be given to the persons with benchmark disabilities that is PWBD post. That means let us assume it is now 20 and we also don't know in which branch they will be giving this PWBD category positions. So what is this branch we will know here. So here name of the post along with the education qualification and experience is given. So we know from the last video the scientist B essential qualification mostly for the bachelor's degree in engineering and technology that is for the B tech students there are in the environmental engineering it is not about environmental science or environmental studies those who have done B tech in environmental engineering for them it is four post in civil engineering if you are having B tech for them it is three post instrumentation engineering two post chemical engineering 1, mechanical engineering 1, artificial intelligence 1, computer science 1 and information technology 1 post. So these all are coming under the B tech. So how much is the post total number? It is 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14 post. So here 14 post are for the B tech students only. So from 20 to 14 now is for the B tech students and two already gone for the persons with benchmark disability. So how much now remaining? Now it is 14 plus 2, 16. So out of 22, 16 gone. It is how much? It is six post now remaining. So six post for the master students. And from the masters also there is division. Master's degree in chemistry if you are having, for them three post is already allotted. For environmental science it is three post and microbiology two post. So here also they haven't mentioned, for example, if in environmental science for the environmental science students, three posts are given and we don't know whether it will be given to ST, ST, OBC, EWS or UR. Let us assume it will be given one for UR, one for SCST, so like that. But inside that also, this position can come, two posts are reserved for the person with benchmark disabilities. So they have not stated whether it will be from the B.Tech student or master student. So if it is from the master student also, we can't question them. It is not clear. It is not transparent. So here also one more twist is there. Even if you are having the masters in environmental science, let us assume, yes, you are having environmental science masters. You have applied. Now is that they will prefer whom? They will prefer the net qualified or the PhD candidates. So already there are PhD candidates in the environmental science, those who are waiting and those will be appearing. And in the VIVA, they will give the preference to them, PhD candidates and those who are having net qualified. So if you are having not having the PhD, if you are not having the net, then also if you are performing well also, they will not give you the chance, the preference will be given to the net qualified and PhD students. So like this, you can see how it is narrowing down. And most importantly, if you are not from the proper environmental science background in masters in environmental science if you are not having many students from biochemistry from ecology they are applying and they are willing for this post 
but here they have mentioned in case of candidates posing equivalent educational qualification for example if you are not having masters in environmental science you are having masters in wildlife masters in ecology this thing we have discussed in the previous video also so you have to produce equivalent certificate from the authority for example from any university or institute if you have qualified masters in other branches similar to the environmental science you have to produce the relevant certificate so that means you, you have appeared for this exam you have given the viva you are getting selected that time you have to produce the relevant equivalent certificate stating that yes this master's degree in ecology in wildlife or anything is equivalent to masters in environmental science if they are not giving your concerned authority then your data your selection will be rejected after that also it is not final here they have mentioned however final decision regarding selection of such candidates that means those were not from pure masters in environmental science will be taken by the competent authority cpcb so even if you produce the equivalent certificate you are not from the environmental science background and you have qualified then also it is not sure 100% that you will get the position it is regarding the selection final decision will be taken by the cpcb so here you can see that first of all they have given 22 vacancies among them there are the different categories position and they have mentioned two posts will be given for the benchmark people with disabilities so here it comes to 20 from 20 only three you can say if it is three posts in environmental science in masters if for example one is given to the pwbd two will be there for the people from masters in environmental science and two we don't know whether it will be given to sc st obc ews or ur so lakhs of people will be applying for this position and only two or one will be for the students who are having masters in environmental science or equivalent uh, degree with the equivalent certificate so this is the actual seed vacancy number of posts which i wanted to tell you now some more thing i would like to tell you through this video so here comes the note to given in this notification itself here it is given total number of posts what is 22 upper age limit is 35 years for different categories there is relaxation but here they have mentioned that there shall be no upper age limit in respect of officers already working in the central pollution control board for the post of scientist b yes all for these for them there is no upper age limit they can be 40 years 45 50 but they can also appear for this exam and they will be getting this post if they are qualifying so they are also your competitor it is not that only the master students will be competitors the officers in the respective cpcb and for them there is no age limit so that is the uh, you can say the competition level next moving on to the next slide yes they also have not mentioned till now what will be the exam pattern and all they will convey later on we'll tell you through the notification they have mentioned weightage of the written test and interview for the post of scientist B shall be 85 is to 15. That means written test you will be giving first round. It will carry the 85 uh, ratio for this in total 100 marks out of that. Interview will be given 15 marks out of that how much you will be getting. So total it will be 100 mark considered and from 100 you will be getting your score. So here they have also mentioned candidates scoring less than the cutoff marks as given below will not be considered for the next stage of recruitment. Next stage means they will not be considered for the interview if you are not having 35% mark as per your unreserved category. If you are for OBC, EWS, you should have minimum of 30% marks in the written test and other categories SCST, PWBD, X servicemen will be 25%. Minimum you have to score this much in the written test, then only you will be able to qualify for the interview. But whether you will be getting your marks, you will be able to know whether you are having that much marks or not. Let's move on to the next slide. Here, this thing why I have bought here is that this is from the last 2023 recruitment. So this was the examination was held on uh, June 2023, 18 June. And for the scientist B, the results were declared in September, July, August, September. Declaration of result, how it was re result was announced like this. On the basis of performance in the online examination held on 18-6-2023 for the post of scientist B in CPCB, the following candidates are provisionally selected. So this basis of performance means you will not be able to know what is your score. You will not get your scorecard, but you will get this list of candidates. Those will be called for the interview. For example, here roll number will be given and name of the candidates will be given from which category and in which discipline they are selected. Till that time, you will be not knowing 
if you are select if you are not getting selected you will not be able to know what is your score so this transparency at least they should maintain cpcb is not giving your score card your response sheet even the question paper they will not give you that's why many of the students are asking for previous year's question paper but they will take your question paper they will not give the question paper because it is the online mode and if they are conducting on the offline so it is very rare if they are conducting on offline also it is they are not giving the question paper so mostly they will be conducting in the computer based mode so because of these reasons i was telling you that these are the things you should consider before applying for the scientist b it is not that yes everybody is applying i should apply you should focus on other things if you are having other plans if you are already going for this plans then don't skip that because here the competition level is this much the number of seats which is so near is actually not that much it will be much lesser than that and we don't know in which category which and how many seats will be given so these things are lacking in the cpcb recruitment for the scientist b if you are from the non btech eva students or btech students i hope you have got some knowledge and information regarding this thing and now it depends on you whether you will be applying or not so i'm not discouraging i am just telling you the facts and figures which will help you to decide whether you should apply or not my best wishes are always with you whatever decision you take so all the very best if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section see you guys in our next video if you want more such videos don't forget to subscribe the channel exactly join our telegram page learn for the environment for daily quizzes see you guys in our next video till then keep smiling and believe in yourself